What's up, everybody, and welcome back to my studio. I'm Joseph Fincham, and you're you. So let's just get into it. In this video, I'm working on this cement stepping stone. As anyone who's ever worked with cement knows, that cement is very porous. And anything that's water-based that you put on it the cement is going to suck the water right out of it. So I start off by giving the entire thing a good coating of gesso, just like I would a canvas. The gesso is going to seal it and make it less prone to sucking up the water from the acrylic paints. The cement block has a lot of texture to it because it's kind of like an embossed or a reliefed surface. So there's lots and lots of tiny little nooks and crannies you got to get all this gesso into. So what I'm doing is I'm just giving it my best shot at getting gesso on every single bit of this cement stepping stone. As I start to block in the colors for this, I'm starting off with a kind of bright orangey red. A little more orange than pure red. This stepping stone, when it's done, will be a gift for my father who worked in fire departments for most of his life. And the trucks he worked on and worked with were more of a burgundy red. A deep crimson red. Not a bright candy apple red. So what I'm doing is I'm going in with this orangey red and then I'll tone down into a darker color or a darker value as I go along later. You can see I'm already starting to add some of that darker element into it with a little bit of shading and a little placement of more shadow colors. Adding a little bit more magenta and so a little bit of like a purple into the initial coat. Now I absolutely know that I should not be doing this yet. This is the blocking stage. And you'll notice a few times in this video that I start to get carried away and I begin painting instead of blocking. My original concept for this painting was to have it look like toys on a shelf against a wall. But being that it's going to be a stepping stone on the floor or on the ground in a patio, it really didn't look right with that kind of perspective. So, I had asked for suggestions, and I got some suggestions in the Lockery group, and I think it was Ginger Pepper who suggested the idea I eventually went with, which is going to be a country road or a country gravel road through a grassy plain, you know, somewhere out in the woods. We don't really have that here where my dad worked, but it'll work for the painting. I've done a bunch of other stepping stones for him already, which sit on the area in front of our barbecue. But they all had pre-made, carved, or imprinted backgrounds to them, so it was really just a decision of what to paint what color. This stepping stone has the fire truck and the Dalmatian, but it didn't really have any background to it. So, obviously, I had to make up my own background for it. As I go through, I blocked in the sky, mostly just getting a nice blue surface. I'm trying to get one solid layer down. I then went in and did what will be the grass and the background trees.
as I'm blocking in most of my ground and landscape colors, you can see that I'm just trying to roughly add in some texture and give that patch of grass in between the gravel pathway a kind of overgrown, wild look. Not trying to be super detailed, but enough that it comes across as being randomly growing grass. Now going in again, I'm trying to more define the clouds in the sky. I know I'm going to want them big and soft if the effect I'm going to go for at the end of this painting will actually work. Now I'm not going for perfection in these clouds. I'm going to add a lot more detail in the next video. This is just my blocking phase and I want it to look like I have all of the basics in place. Adding now some of the colors for the gravel and more into the grass. This is what I'm talking about. You can see that I begin shading underneath the fire truck and adding a little bit more detail to this blocking stage than I should be. Moving on now, I'm starting to add in the tree. There's going to be one tree on either side of the background, one smaller, one larger, and I'm really just trying to get the basic look of what I'm going for. Anything on this fire truck that would be done in metal or chrome, as per the request of the person I'm painting this for, will be done in a metallic silver paint. I would rather use multiple colors to do like a fake chrome look or a faux chrome, but they want it to have the actual shiny look when the sun hits it. So that's what I'll do in the end. So I'm actually going to leave all of that chrome metal left white so that it'll need as little covering with that chrome paint as possible in my final steps. I give some of the lights a base coat of yellow, which will later have a little bit more of an orange added to it to give it that kind of reflective blinker look that you see on most vehicles. And for the tires, I'm just blocking them in gray. I'm going to give them a gray base coat so that when I add in some of the darker grays and blacks, it should look a little bit more like a real tire and not a big fake cartoon tire. Now the last thing I do before I finish this up is I'm going around with some white paint and just anywhere where I may have gotten color onto the parts I was trying to leave white, I'm going to try and cover that up and make it back to the plain white color of the gesso, or white paint in this case. Well, that's about it for this video. Remember, if you're new to my channel, you can hit subscribe by clicking on my logo here in the middle. Or you can watch some of my other videos by clicking on either of the boxes here or here. And I'll see you next time. Bye.